would actually leave her shoes behind. So, which means that she really does want to leave the job. Um, I'm guessing the reason why you got into the job. You Welcome back to my channel, it's Brenna Marcus. Thank you so very much for tuning in. And if you're new to my channel, please do me that favor and press that subscribe button. Guys, today I've got the questions that you guys have been asking. I've got the answers. If not the answers, all of them, but then I've got some of them. You know, there has been quite a lot of doubts and um, let's say misunderstanding on the internet when you guys hear so much. And seven months ago, I did a video saying that not all prostitutes are bad. And the reason why I said this, because some people have their own stories. And I'm sorry that I'm using that word because I don't like to use that word. So today we're going to use night workers instead of that P word because we don't want to hear that P word. So I've got a special guest here who does not want her face to show because she is in that line of work but she is happy enough for me to interview her but not show her face and i'm sure you don't mind if your name to be used so i can use your name okay so she said i can use her name so her name is vivian and she's very young actually i'm way older than her and um it's a pleasure to actually meet her and hear her story so both of us, let's say all of us, are going to listen to the story and hear it the same time. Because this is the first time I'm hearing her story. And I just want to know exactly the reason why she got into this line of work. And how us, you know, the diaspora and us in the continent as well can help a sister and many more. So her contact details will be in the description box. So please, 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 if you can help, please go ahead and help. And if I see any nasty comments in the um, comment section, you know what I do. I will definitely delete and also hide you off my platform. So let's all be matured about this and listen to a sister and let's try and help rather than hating on each other and fighting each other. I'm here to help. I am Renee Marcos. So Vivian, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, actually, I'm Vivian from Nigeria, and actually, I have been in this Gambia for like a year now, but not quite long. So, me being in Gambia, and Gambia is not treating me bad, actually, I'm doing very good in Gambia. But me doing this work is not good for me, or even though, like, I'm proud of what I am doing. I am not because I know officially when you go out, a lot of people talking about this job that is not a nice job. Yes, it's not a nice job, but everybody have it so our own story to tell. Because when you go out there, you see a lot of people they are passed through a lot of pains, and you can you can't take away of it by standing it anymore. You have to take a way out to survive. That is why we some of us are out for this. Okay, let's just take it for example from me. I have grown in a family of two wives and I've passed through a lot. I can't take it anymore. I'm very young. But the best thing I could do is to just come out and help myself. Because me staying there, beating all around the bush, having no help from anybody, no uncle, no sister, no brother, crying every blessed day, it won't help. So it's better I come out to defend for myself. If God wants to help me through any other man or anyone around me, he will still help me. So it's not bad for somebody to just come out and say prostitute is not what people would like to condemn him. When you see everybody on the streets, they have a story to tell. And that is why I'm here. If you want to help, you can still help. But my brothers and sisters out there, I'm pleading you, please don't judge according to what you see. You have to hear a little from the person you see, or he or she is doing the bad, bad thing. Please. Can you come closer to her? Because her voice is a bit low. Okay. So, so, as I was saying, I, I'm in Nigeria again, actually. And I was somehow treated very bad when I was in Nigeria. So, they helped me out up to a level. I was in Lagos. I worked in Lagos a little bit, but I see things are not getting more better, but getting more worse. 
And if you have been to Nigeria, you know how population Lagos is and how difficult is it. So I have a friend who can help and said, you can come to Gambia. And I say to God that maybe God will help me find my destination over this place. And may help as in, let me meet someone who can help me out of this. And that is why I came to Gambia. Ever since I've been doing this work, I have been praying to God that one day God will help. Unfortunately, I meet this big six here, and she's trying to help by bringing me up to her YouTube channel to just say a lot of things that you people are just... Okay, so you guys have heard um, a little bit from Vivian. You don't mind me mentioning your age? I'm 23 years. So she has mentioned that she's 23 years old. A 23-year-old being in the streets, trying to live the life that, let's say, the dream life, trying to survive. But we all know that the line of work that she's doing is very dangerous. You guys know what has been going on in Gambia in regards to the, the robbery, the killing, you know, a whole lot of things have been happening. And a young girl, such a beautiful, I wish you guys could see this beautiful lady. You know, she's out here doing uh, what she does for a living. You guys heard that she came from a huge family from Nigeria. We all know how Nigeria is. And um, trying to survive from, let's say, from everyday life, basically. It's not an easy thing, guys. It's absolutely not. Um, I'm sure most of you might want to know how I met her. I was actually driving um, one night uh, in the Gambia. And I saw them lined up. And I stopped and she said, you know what? I'm going to chat to them and see who's going to talk to me. And um, luckily, she was the one that came in front and said, you know what? Hi, and just started a really nice conversation and wanted to know what, what I actually wanted. Then I told her that I would really like to meet you in person, like sit with you, have a drink and understand what you do for a living. And she just said yes. Um, she was a bit hesitant because she wasn't sure like, oh, this girl wants to actually sit and talk to me, you know, and that I'm, I'm guessing no one has ever done that. But then through communication, we started to chit chat on WhatsApp. She gained that trust and said, okay, that's fine. Um, I'll give you the chance to actually meet up with me and sit and talk. So when you said um, your friend actually helped you to come to Gambia, then does it mean that when you came to Gambia is when you started this line of work um, a year ago? Yes, yes, actually. It's when I came to Gambia here, I started doing the work. And, okay. And did you... Have you been enjoying what you do, or if you had the choice, would you leave it? I'm, I'm not enjoying it in any way. I'm not enjoying it. But when I have an opportunity to leave this work, I will run without not even leaving my slippers. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not sure whether you guys heard that, but I just asked if she had the opportunity, would she leave the job? And she said if she had the opportunity, she would run and grab that opportunity. And even forgetting that she actually wore slippers, she would actually leave her shoes behind. So, which means that she really does want to leave the job. Um, I'm guessing the reason why you got into the job, you came to Gambia and you knew this is the only form of you leaving? Yes, actually yes. There's no source of living in this Gambia. Any female living in this Gambia, apart from students, you know we cannot survive without this. This is the only way we can survive with this. And that's why we are trying to help ourselves. Through only this way, if not, you can't survive this. Every man that comes to you that wants to achieve or help to help, they would like to take something, replace it. And you don't have any option to feed yourself. This is the only way we can survive this, in this place from now, until God's help. You know, I always say to myself that um, sometimes us women actually think, oh, without men, we can't leave. And um, like Vivian here, just like I say, I wish you guys could see her. She's such a beautiful queen, absolutely beautiful. And um, the fact that she's 23 years old, um, she's selling her pride in order for her to make an everyday living because um, I'm guessing that she came from a poor home and staying in Nigeria, she can't make it. So she, she her believing that, oh, moving over to Gambia, maybe she could find a better living, you know, lifestyle and everything. But coming here, um, well, even though she loves the country, but the line of job that she's doing is the only thing that she can actually do to, to basically get herself going and um, she really wants help because she wants to get out of it 
and I always say to myself us ladies have something that um, we can't actually sell out to men sometimes we believe oh giving myself to a man oh and then let's say for example I'm getting thousand dollars from each man oh that is a lot you know I fooled the guy but no 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 whatever a guy gives you you worked for it that's why they gave it to you so it's not that oh this guy I know most of because most of my subscribers are men I know most of you will come at me and said oh Renee but some of us look after our women very well you look after that woman because you know the qualities that woman has every single woman has a quality you know and I just want us from now on from here after you watch this please try and help a sister if you see a, um, a night worker try and stop them and understand why they do what they do and um, try and give them that courage if you can help them every little help please do so like right now what I want to see on my platform after you watch this video I would love Vivian to give me a call and say Renee one of your subscribers have actually contacted me because they want to help me not because you want to use her but because you want to help her that's all I want to hear from her and um, I just want to understand exactly if someone was to help you um, what sort of help would you need from people anyway if I have any opportunity to grab any of those helpers if they can help me start up anything business every to buy in each day having my own um, game and the rest I'd love to so for example if you were to have your own restaurant would you like that yes so to start a business maybe going to Senegal back and front to buy stuff and yes. coming back to sell it yes uh, would you like to go to Nigeria to buy stuff because I'm sure they do have quite a lot of stuff yeah 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 okay so any sort of business or maybe some of them might have um, restaurants or shops but then they want to employ you and pay you like let's say good money let's say starting from five thousand dollars see would you be able to leave from that yes five to ten thousand dollars see yes from grass to grass okay so um if you guys have a shop in the gambia or any form of business that you can actually employ her from um maybe paying her a little bit more than what she earns if she was to go out there at night then um, she would really appreciate it because that's you helping a sister and others out there will learn from it and um, might come out clean to start looking for jobs or um, you can contact me through my email and um, you might want an interview to get the same help as Vivian actually did here so I uh, um, I really wanted to understand how many siblings did you have then or do you have in Nigeria yeah in Nigeria my stepmother have almost nine children why my mom just have three three so so you've got nine siblings plus the plus your mom's one as well so from your stepmom you have nine. nine and then from your mom's side you have just three just three yes. including yourself yes true okay so um do they know that you're actually in this line of work actually we don't get our mom since my mom died Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's fine. So how about your dad? Is he still alive? Yeah, he's alive. Okay, do you get in touch with him? No, actually, because what he did, I didn't expect it from him. I don't have any touch with him. So it basically means that your dad doesn't really care about you? He don't really care. He don't care. It really upsets me to hear stories like this. Um, I've came across a few stories that dads don't really get on with their daughters and I ask myself why because I'm, I'm a daddy's girl you guys know that um, everything I've got today and everything that I'm the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing is because of my dad I've got his full support I go out there and do what I do because I love it and also I know that I've got my parents full support and the relationship that I have with my dad um, knowing that others out there other dads are out there treating their daughters very very badly really hurts me because maybe if Vivian's dad was actually in his um, in her life just the right way that he should maybe she would never ever be in this line of work so men you really 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 need to watch your steps sometimes because this is very sad you know you have a diamond right here this girl she's extremely beautiful I keep saying this because I know what's sitting right next to me you know she has so much qualities so much goodies you know 
that she can walk out there and men should actually be running to her but not her doing the opposite so guys i really 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 want you guys to support her let's start it from um, vivian let's give her all the support that she needs from here and let's give her so much love that she needs she's absolutely beautiful guys and i'm gonna end the video here because i don't want to go deep into her personal life but i just wanted to show you guys that there are people that do what they do not because they love it but because they have to leave you know and being in a foreign land You've got no one, you've got not your mother, her mother has passed away, um, your, um, her dad doesn't get on with her, um, she's got um, a stepmom that has uh, nine children, plus her mom that has three kids, the dad has to look after all of them. And you guys know the, the, the living standard in Africa is not the best. If you're, if you're not rich, or um, let's say a working class, you can't actually do much when you have a huge family. And the fact that your your parents don't actually care about you, especially your dad, the man that should sit you down and, tell, and, and say to you, look, daughter, this is what I want you to do and I'll support you. If they're not doing that, which other man will actually do that? Like they always say, a daughter's fall, a first love is the father. If the father is not there, then that daughter will never go straight. So I really, really, really want you guys to support Vivian and I really appreciate it. This is the right time for you, you guys to actually tell me or show me how much you love Rene Marcus so my loyal subscribers who are out there that can support her who wants to actually return back to the motherland I am pleading with you you won't be getting in touch with me directly but I want you to get in touch with her directly I will leave her details in the description box her direct line to get through to her directly and also her whatsapp number which she can only be um, um, which she can only be rich with and I think we've said it all yeah. so uh, do you have any advice or anything else to say before we say goodbye I don't have much to say actually but a little I have is that people out there please don't take your children granted because they they mean a lot to you guys because they said you don't know the value of what you have till you lose it yeah. now that now I don't have money People might not know my value, but tomorrow when I have money, I have someone to help me now. You can see my dad, my siblings running after me like I'm a god. That is just, it just does take your children and the rest people that you know that they need your help properly and just do what you have to do the right time. Bye. That's it. Thank you very much, guys.